Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another sit rep episode of Brick Mania TV. Today I am joined by Dan Siskind. Hey! Welcome, Dan. Welcome. Well, thank you. So, uh, where do you want to start? Uh, actually, we're going to start here because that's what we scripted. <laughs> restocks. <laughs> we're starting with restocks. We are starting with restocks. We, um, because we are robots and follow the script. So, we, obviously, <laughs> check this out. It is the Bruno. So train. It is the Bruno. So. If you've been paying halfway half attention half to, to, to half attention, still even a little bit of attention to you know the Instagram accounts and other hints that we've been dropping, there are there is a World War One book coming out later this week. What? Yes, on yes. Volume two. Right? Volume two. Another one. And in order to like fully satisfy our 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 customer base, I guess our, our craze for. World War One kits. We've brought back the Bruno. Brought mm. back a couple of uh, a Brick Mania kits that aren't in the book that go with the book. Mm -hmm. So, Great War Bricks Volume Two coming out later this week. But Bruno, Bruno, and there'll be a separate video on the book that has other cool announcements. But Bruno is back for a limited time. Mm -hmm. This is a monster. This is one of the biggest. I think the biggest World War One kit we've done. Right. Right. I mean, I thought well, the the Gotha that was monstrous, but this is in part count. This thing takes it, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, and then we have so that's restocked, restocked for a limited time. Yep. Um, it's a beast. We have the Black Bess. Black Bess restock. Very so popular. Yep. This is a you know it's a, 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 a I guess it's the heavy tank Mark IV. Yeah. Um, this is the female version. This is the real Black Bess. Unlike the video game version, this is this is the way the real original Black Bess was. Um, so you have four uh, Lewis guns and then a cool little uh, movable turrets here. But this is, a, this is, this is a, a kit that came out last year and has been sold out for quite a while. We also restocked the Mark IV male conversion pack. So basically this lets you rebuild the sides of the tank with the uh, six pounder guns on it. So it's an add-on pack. We have both available right now. So if you are preparing your World War I diorama, um, this, is a, this is, both of these things would be excellent additions. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the last restock would be World War II Stug Commander, but that coincides with our, some of our new releases. So we'll, we'll go into that, that later. That he's he's right here, but we'll talk about him So later. changing gears here, we have some hashtag give giveaway winners. We, Last week, we didn't hear back from a, give, uh, a winner in No time. way, no way. So this week, we're actually giving away two prizes. Aw, so the first that's one awesome. is, okay, we're gonna give away the magazine right here, along with, check out this muzzle. So this was last week's, this is last week's prize that was yeah, went, un went unclaimed. Unclaimed prize, so it's here. All the way from Instagram with a Sherman with Hollywood and unpack picture. It's Fozzies underscore, f oh wait, 40s, 40s underscore Fozzies. 40s Fozzies. There we go. Ooh. Oh, hey, I recognize those guys. Hey, look at that. Nice. Very cool. So congratulations. Congratulations. So now moving on to the second prize. This is our GHQ grand opening front door sign, and it is signed by everybody. And what's, is, that a, is that a loot pick? That's a haul of all this different wow. cool Brick Mania stuff? So that is Bricking Around from Instagram. Very cool, very Bricking cool. Around from Instagram. Dan, are you gonna sign Easter this? sale haul. This is from a grand opening of the, the, the GHQ store. So apparently a bunch of us have signed it, except for me, so I'm gonna do it right here oh. on live in YouTube. Hey, that, it's Dan. That, yeah, it's Dan. sorry, it's not the best signature, but. I've, I've ruined your poster. What? Sorry, winner. Okay, uh, congratulations. Oh, we're going to throw in some back. stickers as well. That's cool. Sweet, nice. sweet. Okay, cool. Here you go, camera guy. That's going to Take me, it. right? Take That's it. going on my wall. Take all this stuff. We need room for more awesome. That, that winner doesn't really exist. Okay. Right? Oh, no, sorry. Is that it? That's, that's it for giveaways. Get out of here. Get out of here, restock. You do have another giveaway announcement, though. Okay, so yeah. So. You're going to go into promotions or you're going to go into giveaways? Let's do giveaway. So we're going to change things up here a little bit. I know we've been asking you to use the hashtag Brickmania. Keep doing that on all your cool stuff, but this time we're actually going to do a contest here where you submit your picture of your mock. So you're going to be building a World War I mock if you want to win this next prize. Okay. How long do they have to do it? We have, I think we're going to run this for three weeks. Three weeks. Three so so the, weeks the pressure's on, not as on as it could be. We're not, this is going to be a three so you week. you got three weeks to build this. What's the date on that three weeks? Do we have no, a, this is the part where we look at the phone. Th then, it, then it comes underneath the screen and has the date of deadline submission. That works. Yeah. Deadline submission. Yeah. <laughs> Calculating. Deadline submission. Yeah. Bing. Okay. So the winner gets what? So the winner. Oh. Oh, look at this. Check this we out. We have hidden stuff under the, Speaking under the counter. Speaking of this Great War Volume 2 book. So Great War Bricks Volume 2. Um, this is, you know, 
Look how thick this thing is. This is a draft copy. These are all the notes of the mistakes that we made. <laughs> the things that say fix, <laughs> fix this, fix I don't, this. I, I think the draft copies are always kind of cool because it's a little bit of a work in progress and it shows that, you know, it's like, it's just a work in progress. Right, right. This, is, this is the latest book from the Brickmania, mm -hmm. uh, the Grand Imperial Brickmania Publishing Empire. That's right. There's a sticker sheet that'll go along with this one as well. Massive. Look at the sticker sheet. This is so you can build all the cool models in it. So if you can figure out what I models go in it. this is the it, largest basically. sticker sheet we've ever released. It is. It actually won't fit in the book. There's a little, they have to fold it in half to get it in the book. So <laughs> this, is, this is pretty awesome. And you pretty know what? Awesome. I'm going to throw in a big old pack of World War One stickers to go with that. So for your mock that you're creating. So your awesome mock will be even awesomer after more, you get the yeah, stickers. Just, you can just go to town and make a huge awesome one for the next time, for yeah. the next contest. Right. Uh, so yes, yeah, so again, submit, uh, there's a link in the description. Submit your picture of your very awesome mock about World War One. some cool trench battle, something cool. Right, and you said May 24th? Mm -hmm. May 24th, 24th is the deadline for submissions. The deadline for that. So there will be a link to on this video and other places to drop your submission so we know how to look for it. Yes, and how are we choosing the winner, Dan? I don't know. Based on how awesome it is, oh. always. That's cool. Who gets robot, to decide that? A special algorithm that can tell how awesome <laughs> something is. Right, okay. The, so, the more awesome, the better. All right, it sounds good. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, that is the, that's the contest. Three weeks, guys, let's do this. Um, promotions. Promotions. While we're talking about promotions, let's clear some of this stuff out some of here. Space out of the way. So promotions, we we are in the, in the midst of building another batch of PT-109s. Uh, I know it's just, this is like a once in a blue moon kind of thing because it is such an amazingly huge model. Basically, we have to clear the schedule for the entire week that it's coming out uh, of all releases do the PT-109. There's still some copies left. If you haven't uh, pre-ordered it now, you still have a chance. Um, the release date should be, what is it, the May 21st, I think, is when it, when it actually drops. May 21st, yep. So if there's... We have a few left, so do not delay. Right, and there's a possibility that it could sell out on the pre-sales. That's happened before. Mm -hmm. So um, if you want to make sure you get one, don't delay because this is, like, like I said, a once in a blue moon thing. So we love having the PT-109 in our inventory, but it is almost impossible for us to make. Yeah, it's there's like 13 huge. custom printed uh, crewmen. That's just <sighs> nothing like that. Has right. Ever happened. There's no sticker pack with this one. <laughs> it's not, so much printing in this thing. Yeah, for sure. Again, May 21st is when this is dropping. Uh, do not delay. Right. Get your PT-109. Very cool. Um, next up, we have a... Uh, buy one, get one of the same sticker pack, a sticker pack say, uh, sale uh, for the Victory in Europe Day. VE so Day. VE Day, yep. yep. So VE Day 2019, we will be doing BOGO stickers, and that is buy one of any, is it just World War II or is it all stickers? Just sticker packs. Oh, right? sticker, all sticker packs. That's awesome. We're just doing sticker packs across the board. So right? if you it's buy a packs. sticker pack, you get a second sticker pack. So it's a perfect time if mm -hmm. you're trying to build up your, your, your troop levels. This will be perfect for that contest if you want to get a big army for that World War One contest. Right, and there's stickers, so mm -hmm. it's affordable. And when you're all done, you can rip their uniforms off and make new guys, Something make else new soldiers cool. on them. Yep. Yes. All right, uh, just a note. I don't know if you knew this, we are going to be opening up a new store in Chicago. Right, originally we're hoping to have it moved and open by May 1st. We're actually delaying it a month so we can get all the construction, everything done correctly and have it a more awesome store than before, but we'll be moving in Schaumburg. So we already uh, have a store in Chicago, if you didn't know that. Yep. We're gonna be moving it. So. We'll be moving about 10 minutes away from its current location into a bigger, better store. So if you've seen the, the Mall of America store versus the GHQ store, you'll understand why. We basically will need, we'll have more space to do fun activities, do displays, things like that, that we can't do in a mall store, which is the, the cost is too prohibitive. So we're opening up a store in, a, in another location, one that you'll actually be able to park right outside of our door. Oh, that's cool. You won't have to fight the mall traffic. Right. But until that happens, we are open at, at Schaumburg, at Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, until the end of May. We'll be moving June 1st as a projected opening day of the right. new store. We will have a grand opening party on the 15th and right. 16th of June. We're going to have give us a couple of weeks to work out the bugs, get all the get all Keep the cool stuff on sure you're art on the wall, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But yep, June 15th and 16th, grand opening. It's an going to be an awesome event. Absolutely. All right, now on to what you have all been waiting for. It's the new releases for this week. Jeez. It's a lot on this episode. Right, right. So let's just slide some, some yeah, stuff over here. Yep, yep. So I don't know if you're following Dan's Instagram account. Uh, he's been hard at work over these all new Panzer models. Um, and they are all just freaking gorgeous. <laughs> the long-awaited Panzer III. We, we did a Panzer III in tan. 
couple of years ago, and I think it like sold out in like a weekend. Um, and we were never able to actually restock it because we just went right on to the next thing. So this is a Panzer III. This is in the spirit of all the modular builds that we've been doing. Base model Panzer III. So this is early, early war Panzer III. It doesn't even have the turret bustle. Um, it is an Africa Corps. Uh, version, so you do have the little Africa Core logo on the on the front, which we've never actually done in a, in a vehicle before. Um, it does come with a sticker sheet with varying tur uh, turret numbers, um, basically one through six, or you can use any combination. Um, you do have the Balkan Kreutz sticker pack or it's insignias. Um, you know, it's ex what you'd expect from a Brickmania Panzer III. The, the the antenna can be raised, lowered, mm -hmm. has opening hatches, um, at least for the commander. The, what you, the rest of what you're seeing are various, various add-on packs. So let's, let's talk about these two first. This is one add-on pack. Um, you can make the Panzer III Ausuf M or N. And I have two different models here. This is the, this is the N model with the short barrel. Um, and it has a single, the single, hurt, the single hatch, single opening hatch on the top. Sure. Whereas the other, the other models have a split hatch. But what's really impressive is you also get these side skirts. So we have the M model with the larger, the longer gun on here. Um, but look at the sticker pack. This is, this is, we've gone to town. These side skirts and the turret armor, uh, extra armor, is uh, done in cut PVC. Yeah. So it is, it is not paper. People we've never saw done the pro anything quite like this. Prototype. People saw the prototypes. Thought we were doing cardboard or, or fabric or something. This is actually, this yeah, is actually us, cut PVC plastic. And this has a sticker pack with about a hundred, how many stickers are on here? 83. 83, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of stickers. 83 different stickers. <laughs> so, so this is, this is our, the, the, the Panzer III Ausuf M, or Ausuf, yeah, Ausuf M. Mm -hmm. That's one add-on pack, so you, you basically you can do the N or M with or without stickers, with or without the side armor. And then this last thing over here is the Stug III Ausuf G uh, add-on pack added to that pa base Panzer III model. That's really interesting how it's, it's the common chassis on this tank. Well, the Panzer III was, the actual Panzer III chassis was made starting in the 19, thir late 1930s, 39, I think, and they used it right up until the end of the war. So it's, it was, it was, you know, they couldn't put a bigger gun in the, in the turret anymore, so right. they ended up making what they would call an assault gun. Sure. And basically with this, this is a, the same gun as the Pac-40. It's a 75 millimeter high velocity, um, you know, anti-tank gun basically right. put it in here and you've got an excellent tank hunter um, but this is this is the the Ausuf G it's very similar to one that we released just a little a little mm -hmm. a, a couple of years ago but we only made a limited amount of them That's right. and this is actually better this chassis is, is, is much better than the, any previous one we've done very cool so, um, restock we did restock the, the Panzer or the Stug commander right. to go with the, the this is you don't right. get it well, go ahead you don't get it with the model you get it separately this is the the Stug Commander we released about a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a slightly, it's similar to the Panzer Wrap, additional pockets on this and in that kind of feel grow. They did have, yeah, they did have a special uniform for Stug crew. Members. They were, I think they're more closely tied with the infantry. Yeah, right, they don't, they won't be wearing the black Panzer uniforms because they are actually artillery infantry. But for your Panzer crew, we have the Commander and the crewman. Uh, this is a brand new release. Um, we have, these, have, these have been in a previous kit before. Now they are available as standalone. They were in the last Panther kit that we right. put out. So if you miss the Panther, you have a chance to get the mm -hmm. guy standalone. It was commonly requested that we, we actually put these guys out as standalone figures. What makes them different from the previous Panzer commanders and commander troops, they actually are th printed all the way around. Mm -hmm. So they have leg prints. They, you know, it's not just the torso like we've, we've been selling for a long time. Right. That's right. So, uh, one last new release. We'll see if we can get this. Yes. Uh, one last new release. We have the all new. Let's see. If, what's the name? Of, what are we naming this thing? It's a perfect caliber, isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. So this is the new all new perfect caliber. This is the MG thirty four perfect caliber. Correct. So what? Well, yeah. With so the with the Bakelite handle or the Bakelite. 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 Yeah. Bakelite. It's it's a plastic <laughs> handle hand grip grip covers. That's and, right. And, uh, so, so this is a bit more of a settled design uh, put together by uh, our resident graphic designer, Slam, and um, maybe in a future episode he can review that himself. So down the road we'll go over right. that. But so it's kind of cool. It's, uh, we'll just do a quick little review here. There's lots of different colored details. That handle, of course, is blacked out um, as well as the uh, this, buttstock on that. Yep. Uh, and there's some a few more shadowing kind of stuff going on. Yeah. It's it's different colors. So. Fairly exquisite. Uh, very little, little, very little cool. Piece. Perfect caliber. Brick mini exclusive. Awesome right. stuff. Um, we do yeah. have one more thing. One more thing? One more thing. Oh, yeah. The, one uh, more. It's kind of a biggie. <laughs> so we're switching gears from World War II. We're going back to the Great War. We mentioned this previously. So the Great War 
Volume Two. This is the Great War bricks. So it mm -hmm. has it has models from the Central Powers and Allies. This is mostly models that were released in the last year and a half, um, and previously released in the last year and a half. Right. Um, some some cool extras. Um, there is one. The instructions for this bad boy is in there. This is the Liberty truck. And you don't have to build it with this fabric. You know, where do you get that thing? Where do you get those funky wheels? So those are actually custom wheels. Mm -hmm. um, the instructions in the book show you how to build it with all stock Lego parts. But we did put together a, a fabric cover and the sort of a, a side effect of that Garford Poodle of Armored Car, we were able to make these, these wheels. One thing we didn't do in the Armored Car is we hadn't developed the ability to do rubber tires. Right. And we actually printed our own rubber tires. It was a real, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real involved process. Yes. But we made this pack up. We made just 50 of these packs up. So if you buy the book, you have to buy all the parts yourself. The instructions are in there, but we do have this cool little add-on pack. Yes. Made 50 There's of these bad boys. That's a cool option for you. Yeah, and if they sell out, we'll probably make more, but it's, it's, a very, it's, it's, it's much more involved than most of the add-on packs, even though it is very few parts. So those fabric covers, um, it takes a lot. Of, I mean, a lot goes into designing these things. It doesn't just happen. It's cool stuff. So, yep. I mean, you know, we wanted to see this um, this vehicle kind of in its uh, sure. coolest form. So, and we will have a separate video detailing everything with the Great War Bricks book. So, mm -hmm. stay tuned for that. Yep, absolutely. Whoa. That's it. That is an episode. That's a sit rep episode right there. Did we forget anything? Probably. So, did I show you this awesome sticker pack again? You could probably figure out what's in the book just by these stickers. Oh. Oh, oh, sneak yeah. peek. That's very, a sneak peek. very, very cool. <laughs> uh, anything else, Dan? No, I gotta save my energy for all the other videos we have That's to make right. today. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. Um, Dan, you got the closing words, man. All right, we'll see you on the flip side. Ooh. <laughs>